friends welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat West Bengal India this is an opaque intraocular lens the surgery was done elsewhere and we don't have any records of this surgery my plan is to explant this lens and implant a clear lens so I have started this surgery this is the main wound to explant the intraocular lens width of this wound is about 4.5 millimeter and this is on the posterior aspect of the limbus and now this is a side port at around 2 o'clock the main wound is from 10.30 to 11.30 o'clock now I want to see if there is any part of the anterior capsule in front of the lens so I inject air and stain try to stain the capsule after washing out I find that there is no part of the anterior capsule in front of the lens so the lens must be in the sulcus now I inject visco and by the same cannula I inject visco behind the lens and as I inject visco I push the lens towards 3 o'clock and I find that this haptic comes out then I pull the lens towards the main wound and the other haptic comes out so the haptics are free there is no adherence of the haptics to any intraocular tissue press the lens down so that it should not touch the corneal endothelium inject some visco in the gap between the lens and the corneal endothelium my aim is to protect the corneal endothelium very nicely and to decrease the maneuvers in the anterior chamber I have planned to remove the lens in total without cutting the lens so enlarge the main wound it was 2.8 now it is enlarged and it is 4.5 to 4.75 millimeter and now I inject visco again and the visco cannula is placed over the lens and my assistant keeps injecting visco I hold the anterior part of the visco cannula and now with the other hand I hold the haptic optic junction and pull the lens out it came out easily now I inject visco again and now there are a lot of cells the posterior capsule is opacified so that has to be polished so I am cleaning the posterior capsule very nicely is being done with the help of a 23 gauze Simcoe cannula so the necessity of ear glazer capsulotomy is not there in the immediate in the near future nicely polished posterior capsule posterior capsule is clear now now inject visco fill up the anterior chamber and examine the support if there is any genular dehiscence is there any gap anywhere not no the 
anterior capsular rim is intact 360 degree and now this is the sensor multipiece intraocular lens it will not go probably yes the wound is smaller it will not go so I take help of this cartridge fold the lens and then inject the lens and now I am injecting the haptic in the sulcus so lift the iris and then inject the lens as the lens comes out the cartridge is rotated anticlockwise again some visco over the anterior part between the gap of the cornea and the lens check the where the haptic has gone yes it is nicely in the sulcus and now the trailing haptic is placed in the sulcus a dialer that is a Sinsky hook is taken some more visco always taking care of the corneal endothelium and I find that the trailing haptic is also nicely placed in the sulcus and now I have applied two interrupted sutures to close the main wound because there can be a lot of astigmatism if I don't use any suture and now we are towards the end of this surgery the visco that has been used is nicely cleaned go behind the lens irrigate fluid first irrigate PSS first so that all the visco between the posterior capsule and the lens comes out you get visco in the angles so there is no visco obstructing the trabecular meshwork so after thorough cleaning of the visco the side ports are closed by hydrating corneal stroma and then this is moxifloxacin check the intraocular pressure it is fine and the case is concluded thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills in this case I have shown a simplified way we can cut the lens we can do a lot of maneuvers and in that process we can damage the corneal endothelium so it is better that we extend the wound to about 4.5 to 4.75 millimeter pull out the lens and put two sutures thank you once again for your attention